Hey what's up guys in this video we're gonna talk about few of the more important grid layout property. So we can use the grid layout and we can style the grid items and we can place the grid items spanning multiple columns or even spanning multiple rows. So first of all we're gonna talk about the grid column property. So here we have the grid container and inside the container we have five items. Now we can add one class of header and now we can select the class header and now we can use the grid column property. So the grid column property is a shorthand property for the grid column start and the grid column end. So here first of all we have to specify the grid column start. So our item will start at column 1 and the item will end before the column 3. So here you can see our item header is spanning from column 1 till the column 3. And also we can use one different notation where our item will start at column 1 and it will span two columns. So you can see we have the same result. The item is starting at column 1 and the item is spanning across two columns. Similarly also we have the grid row property. So the grid row property is also the shorthand property for the grid row start and the grid row end. So here we can define on which row the item will be placed. So we can specify that our item will start at row 1 and it will end before the row 3. So you can see our item is started from the row 1 and it is spanning across two rows. Similarly also we can use the other notation where we can use span 2. So we are having the same result where our item is starting at row 1 and it is spanning across two rows. And also we have the grid area property. So the grid area property is a shorthand property for the grid row start, grid column start and grid row end and grid column end. So we want our header item to start at row 1 and column 1 and it will end on row 3 and column 3. So you can see our item it started at row 1 and column 1 and it is spanning till the row 3 and column 3. And also we can use the span notation where our item will start at row 1 and column 1 and it will span two rows and it will span two columns. So you can see our item is started at the row 1 and column 1 and the item is spanning across two rows and two columns. And also we can use the grid area property and we can name our grid items. Like an example we can assign the name header to our grid item. And now we can use the grid name in the grid template area property. So the grid template areas property is used to define one template by using the name which is assigned to the grid items. So here we can define our header to span across multiple columns. So here we are defined our header to span across three columns and you can see here we have the output the header is spanning across three columns and also we can use the dot operator so the dot operator will represent a grid item with no name so here in this template we have defined our header to span across two columns and the remaining one column will be allocated by the grid item with no name and also we can use one second pair of apostrophe and we can define the layout for the second row. So the first pair of apostrophe is for the first row and the second pair of apostrophe is to define the layout for the second row. And you can see in the output we have the header item which is spanning across two columns and also the two rows. And also we can use the grid area property and we can assign names to all of those different grid items and we can create one layout. So we're gonna add the class of menu 
to the second item we're gonna add the class of body to the third item we're gonna add the class of right to the fourth item and we're gonna add the class of footer to the fifth item and now we're gonna select all of those class and we're gonna assign names to those classes so you can see we have assigned names to all of those different grid items now we're gonna create the layout so here in the grid template areas so in the first row we're gonna have the header throughout the four columns and in the second row first we're gonna have the menu then the body throughout the two columns and then we're gonna have the right side and in the third row we're gonna have the footer throughout the four columns so here you can see we have created the layout of the website where we have the header the sidebar the main body area and the footer at the bottom of the page so this is the way we can use the different grid properties and we can easily create the layout of one website so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you